Hi everybody, so it's been 30 days um, since we put in our boneless ribeye into our dry ager. Um, it's that time, so we're just gonna start cutting it into steaks and uh, we're gonna see how much pellicle um, we lost and the beautiful meat we were left with. As you can see, um, the tallow really helped protect this meat. There isn't too much of a pellicle that we're gonna have to trim off. So uh, we are very happy with the results that we had with this boneless um, ribeye, considering that you know we don't have to trim off too much pellicle. So we have a piece here. As you can see, this little uh, dark area is not quite what we are looking for. It's not bad, but it's just uh, a little oxidized. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this back corner here, boom, and just separate this little seam here. This bottom fat here is just gonna go right in our tallow. And if you just take that, we have it right here. So then we're just gonna trim here, a little trim. This chunk's gonna go the meat right here into our burger pile, into our tallow pile. And now, we're just gonna keep going, work our way up the meat. Take off a little bit here. Now, this is the cap, so we really don't wanna trim anything off, but we just wanna get this tallow. So we're just taking the smallest little edge off. This uh, cut does not have an enormous cap like some of our others, but still, the cap is the most enjoyable part of the ribeye, I think. So we're just gonna take off the edge. And then down here, we don't need this big chunk of fat, so we're just gonna slim it down a little bit. And there we go, right in our tallow pile. And just like that, we are left with a beautiful 30-day dry-aged ribeye. So out of that 15-pound boneless ribeye, we have 12 really good, um, about inch to an inch and a half thick steaks. Um, some on the thinner side, but these are gonna be uh, our taste testers, so we're gonna taste test off those. Um, but super happy with the results that the Wagyu did for our boneless ribeye roast. Um, thank you for following along in this journey. It's been a long 30 days for me, um, and I'm sure if you were here from the beginning, it had been a long 30 days for you. Um, in 15 days, we're gonna be pulling out our bone-in ribeye roast. Thank you. So one thing I forgot to mention was that our starting weight was 15 pounds. At the end of the dry age cycle after trimming, we received 10 pounds worth of trimmed up steaks and over three pounds of fat for our tallow. So that is just remarkable that we only lost two pounds over a 30 day cycle. Hi everybody, I cooked one up. Uh, it was one that I didn't really cut up too well. Um, I kind of butchered the steak, so I just threw it on the in a pan, and it's a butter-basted steak. I've already had a bite. You cannot beat a butter-basted steak, but the flavor, on point. 